Hi Jewish mom. I'm on a vacation at the Dead Sea, as you can see. Um, I'm on a women's vacation um, at a hotel here. Um, and this morning I heard a story from another guest at the hotel that gave me chills. And I was like, I knew that I had to share this story with you. Um, so this is a woman. Um, she is she is one, she's a Hasidic woman um, from a very large family. She's one of 16 siblings. She told me that six years ago, her father was was extremely ill. Her father was on uh, had experienced kidney failure, um, and um, and the doctors were saying that that if they that if they couldn't find a compatible kidney donor, um, then uh, then uh, God forbid the father was going to die. So all of the siblings, you know, sixteen kids, one of them must be compatible. Sixteen kids. Um, so all of the so all of the siblings were fighting for the honor of saving the father's life, and uh, incredibly, remarkably, and terribly, um, none of the sixteen children was a was a compatible kidney donor. Um, so basically, like you know, they were they were they were preparing themselves for the end. They thought that the father was going to die. God forbid, um, and uh, and they were just the family was just in despair. If none of the kids, if none of his sixteen children is compatible, how are they going to find a compatible donor? And then something incredible happened, like oh, you know, just an almost impossible thing happened. That the it turned out that the that that this woman that her husband is a compatible donor. So I asked her, wait, are you married to your cousin, to your second cousin? No. Nope. No blood relation at all. She is from, they're from different countries. No, they're, they're not related at all. And it's just so, like, when I heard this, it gave me chills because it's just like, how exactly, how exactly God runs the world. Incredible. Um, and so, uh, so, uh, so now, like, we're in the weeks leading up to, leading up to Tisha B'Av, to, like, the saddest day of the Jewish calendar when the, when the temple was destroyed on the 9th of Av, which is almost exactly three weeks from now. Um, and, um, and so my teacher, Rabbi Niven, he was telling us, what is the major spiritual fixing for this period? Which is a sad, right now, still, it's, a, it's, right, it's already a sad period um, of the Jewish year. Um, and he said, and Rabbi Niven explained, um, that, the, that, the, that, that, the, that the spiritual work, the spiritual fixing of this time of year um, is, to, um, is, uh, is to stop saying, oh, look at everything that I have accomplished. Look at my family, look at my marriage, look at my kids, look at my home, look at my career, look at how successful, look what a big person I have in my community, look at all the things I've done. You just stop that. Stop it all year, but especially now. Now say, God, thank you for everything you've given me. Recognizing that we couldn't do anything, we couldn't accomplish anything if it wasn't for God's help. Um, and so I've been doing this for every for the last few weeks. Every morning, I say to myself, I say, I say to God, I say, God, thank you for my husband, thank you for my family, thank you for my kids, thank you for this home, thank you for JewishMom.com that I'm able to reach Jewish moms around the world and hopefully inspire them uh, somewhat. Um, thank you for everything and recognizing really that everything is from God. Um, and I think like the story this morning about like the kidney donation, the donation it reminded me how exactly God runs the world and how exactly he runs and creates our lives day by day. I want to bless all of you Jewish moms with an amazing week. Okay.